For one Pakistani businessman, the threat of kidnap or death has become a part of everyday life. But it's not because of his ethnicity or religious background, but because of his mustache. Minorities in Pakistan, such as Hindus and Christians, have long had to live under the threat of violence and discrimination, often from Islamist militant groups. Now it seems upper lip rebels are also among the country's persecuted groups. Malik Amir Mohammed Khan Afridi has an immaculately trimmed mustache that is 76 centimeters in length. It takes Afridi 30 minutes a day to wash, comb, oil, and twirl his facial hair into the gravity-defined mustache that has gotten him into huge trouble with the Taliban and its allies. In Pakistan, Islamist militants enforce the religious belief that a mustache must be trimmed, or better yet, non-existent. Afridi spent years dodging the Taliban's numerous threats, moving from city to city, fleeing to relative safety. He was captured and held as prisoner for a month in 2009, before being freed upon his agreement to cut off the offending facial hair. Since then, he has grown it back and now receives daily threats on his life. He has said that he is willing to leave both his family and Pakistan for his mustache. He never wants to part with his two pointy friends ever again, and he dreams of finding political asylum in a country that accepts his hairy features for what they are. Although he is on the run, and it's unlikely you'll catch him on the street, he can be seen in the 1983 James Bond film Octopussy, in which he played a cameo role.